In this video, I will highlight some of the most important differences between Arduino and Raspberry Pi so that you can better understand when to use Arduino, when to use Raspberry Pi, and also when to use both of them in a single project. The first and maybe the biggest difference is that Arduino is run by a microcontroller whereas the Raspberry Pi is run by a microprocessor. So the microcontroller on the Arduino is quite simple. It's going to run just one program at the maximum speed capacity. That's it. On the Raspberry Pi, you have a microprocessor, which is something completely different. A microprocessor is what you also have on your computer, on your phone, etc. You usually install an operating system on it, and then you can run many programs to do many different things. If you compare the specs of the microcontroller on the Arduino Uno and the microprocessor on the Raspberry Pi 4, well, there is a world of difference. But, and that's what we're going to see now, with those specs and a few more details I'm gonna add later, you will see that the Arduino is better suited for controlling hardware components, and the Raspberry Pi is better suited for software applications with more processing power. Now, you might say, well, there are some applications that you can do with either an Arduino or a Raspberry Pi. For example, if you try to control an LED with a push button, this can be done with both boards with the same result. So yes, for a few applications, both boards are going to overlap. And for those kinds of applications, there is no right or wrong solution. Now, let's focus on what the Arduino can do better than the Raspberry Pi. First, there are some hardware functionalities that are only possible with Arduino. The GPIO panel on the Raspberry Pi is great, but quite limited when you compare it to the pins on the Arduino. For example, only with Arduino, you can read from an analog sensor. That can be a potentiometer, a photoresistor, etc. There is no way to do that directly with the Raspberry Pi GPIO. Also, some of the pins have a PWM functionality, which very basically allows you to send a custom voltage to a component instead of just, for example, 0 and 5 volt. On Arduino, PWM is native and is handled by the hardware, which means that it's not going to take away any software resources. On the Raspberry Pi, you could use PWM, but this is not a hardware one, this is a software PWM, which means that it's going to take resources from your CPU, and it's maybe not going to be as stable as on the Arduino. Then, the Arduino is best suited to control motors. And one additional thing here which is quite important is the capability to respect real-time constraints. So what is the real-time constraint? Let's use an example here. So let's say that you are controlling a motor and you need to give a command to the motor every 20 microseconds. If you fail to give the next command before 20 microseconds, the motor will not behave very smoothly. So with the Arduino, no problem because of the nature of the microcontroller. It's just running one program and it's what we call deterministic, which means that you know exactly how long a command will take to execute every time. So if you write your code well, you can respect the 20 microseconds delay every time. On the Raspberry Pi, things are completely different. The operating system you are running has a scheduler for all the tasks. The scheduler will try its best to make all the tasks run as smoothly as possible, but it can't guarantee that one particular program is going to respect exactly 20 microseconds between each command it sends. If, for example, another independent program is taking too much resources, then the first program which controls your motor is going to slow down. And that's a problem, especially when you control physical hardware components. All right, you can already see that the Arduino is superior to the Raspberry Pi for quite a few things that are related to hardware control. Now let's give a chance to the Raspberry Pi and see when it is better than the Arduino. On Raspberry Pi, you get a complete operating system, for example, Linux with the Raspberry Pi OS, and you can install many more OSs, for example, Ubuntu, Android, and even some versions of Windows if you want to. 
With a complete operating system, well, instead of running just one program, you can see that we have a world of possibilities that are not available on the Arduino. On the Raspberry Pi, you can program with C++, but also with Python. And in fact, you could use any programming language you want. And now a few more examples. With Raspberry Pi, you can control a camera, for example, the Pi camera, or any USB camera or webcam that you just need to plug in. And to that, you can add computer vision, artificial intelligence with machine learning, etc. You can also host a complete web server if you want to. And well, on the Raspberry Pi, basically, you can just run many different applications and programs simultaneously with scheduling and multi-threading. Multi-threading is super powerful, and it's something that doesn't exist on the Arduino. On Arduino, by writing your code well, you can kind of fake it and create a multitask program. But nothing to see with what you can do with the Raspberry Pi. Okay, I'm going to stop here because the list could go on and on and on forever. But what you can see here is that the Raspberry Pi is superior to the Arduino when it comes to software. To recap, Arduino is better for hardware or low-level control, and Raspberry Pi is better for application software or high-level control. So depending on your project, maybe you just need one board. If your application is to take some photos, process them and publish them on a web page, then just go with a Raspberry Pi. If, however, you want to just open a door with a motor when you detect a presence nearby, Arduino will do 100%. But if you need to combine both hardware control and high-level software applications, then why not use the best of both worlds and use the combination Raspberry Pi and Arduino? With this combination, you can do a much more complete and complex project by taking advantage of each board's superiority. For example, on the Raspberry Pi, you could take some photos with the Pi camera module, send them to the cloud, and on the Arduino, you would control some servo motors as well as other hardware components using PWM. The Raspberry Pi will send commands to the Arduino, and the Arduino will also send some data back to the Raspberry Pi. And you may not be aware of it, but this combination of microprocessor plus microcontroller is actually used everywhere. If you have a phone, a computer, a TV, well, all of them are using a microprocessor as the main software control, and then this microprocessor is connected to many microcontrollers which are handling the hardware. A more robotic example, maybe, if you take a mobile robot with autonomous navigation, well, you would have a microprocessor to handle localization, high-level motion planning, image processing, etc. And you have some microcontrollers to control the wheels with real-time constraints and also get data from different sensors. To conclude, you can see the Raspberry Pi, or microprocessor, as the brain of your application and the Arduino, or microcontroller, as the muscles of your application.